right, Raven fans. We're here with the J-Dog and the Drew, Drew Drop off. in the back there. Mm -hmm. We're going to go watch what we're watching today, today, guys. Shazam. Shazam, baby. This, this is a birthday present for J-Dog. He's turned the <laughs> big one five. And he is very happy. So we're gonna go in here and watch this movie. We don't. I don't know. My thoughts of I just saw maybe one trailer. It looked really funny, really cool. So I'm not kind of looking forward to it. What about you, George? Have you seen anything about it? Uh, I saw like a teaser. That's all. So just a teaser. Did it look like interesting? It, it looked. Uh, it looked good. I mean, I, I saw like a part of one of the trailers. It looked good to me. What about you, uh, Drew? The drop. I've seen like the first like trailer that came out about a year ago and all I know is that he got some sort of ability and if he says Shazam he becomes Shazam and that's all I know. When I was a little kid I used to watch the TV yeah. show back in the 70s. I'm, not, I'm going to try to find a picture I got where mom made me a special Flash, I mean, yeah, not Flash, but Shazam shirt with the, with the lightning bolt. And I'm going to try to put that on the thumbnail if I can remember and find it. But uh, we are going to go in right now. We're going to watch the 715 here at Corbin Cinema our cinema to yep. watch movies and we're hoping that we have a good time and uh it's really a good movie because they did yeah. so good with the last one with the aquaman aquaman so aquaman. we're really looking forward to that so we'll see you on the flip side when we come back out here and give you our closing votes so see you in a little bit hey welcome back we're back from watching the movie just got out yeah and we are here with our uh spoiler free thoughts of the movie who wants to go first i'll go first okay Drew drop so i uh i thought that the movie was pretty good i don't think it's as good as aquaman definitely mm -hmm. not i think aquaman's miles ahead of this movie um there was a lot of parts i liked but there was some parts i didn't like especially with the length of the movie i think they could have trimmed it down a little bit i thought it kind of went too long in some places you know Kind of like that ending scene. Mm -hmm. I thought it kind of lasted way too long. But other than that, there was a lot of enjoyable moments and everything like that. And I really did like the movie in some places. But it could have been a little bit better in my opinion. But it's one of those movies to where like, you know, you sit down and you eat popcorn and you kind of enjoy it. You know, it's one of those movies where it's pretty good mm -hmm. but not the best. That's my rating. If I have to give it a rating, it'd probably be like a good solid 7.5 out of 10 that's probably what i would give it so yeah okay uh j dog what do you think well uh, i guess i thought it was uh a good movie uh like andrew here said it's uh not as good as aquaman but it's still up there with justice league and uh the avengers uh they could have done a lot more with it and uh, it lasted a little bit too long. Uh, it took him. That's uh, a spoiler. spoiler well, you could say basically, you know, it took him a while to. It took him a while to figure out his costume. How to do everything. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't give it anything away. I didn't give it anything. Take it longer yeah. than we thought. So, what would you like to give it out? One what would you ten? give it a rating? Uh, probably like an 8.5. Okay, well, I'm going to give you mine. I didn't really like it. I don't know. I mean, it was all right. It was kind of a kiddie movie mm. to me. I thought maybe it was not meant for my age group or something. It kind of graded on me after a while with him being, I know he's supposed to be 14 years old, 15, something like that. After about a 30 minutes of him acting like that, you know, acting silly and goofy like a little kid, I kind of got a little bit bored of it. Uh, I didn't... They had some really, they had some really good scenes. And don't get me wrong, I do like some of the scenes they did. I'm like Jordan, though. He took him way too long to figure his powers out. The movie's and, overall too long. And and then the ending of it yeah. took way too long to kill the bad guy, yeah. or why well, don't kill the bad guy? But I mean, I'm just saying, it just took a long time with the bad guy. And I did like some of the stuff they didn't did. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a horrible movie. I'm just saying I didn't like it like I thought I was gonna like. And it doesn't hold a it doesn't hold a candle to Aquaman. I hate to say that. Which they're totally different movies. More yeah. one's more for grown grown ups and one for more for teenage kids. I understand. I'm kind of like taking it kind of out of context. Uh, I thought it was funny at some point, but I think they went way overboard with the funny. I think they went did too many jokes. There was too many jokes in it. I thought, 
and some of them paid off and some of them didn't. Uh, as far as his story, I thought his story with him and and the, the group of, you know, I'm not giving it any away because it's a foster uh, family type thing. I thought his uh, beginning from uh, where he comes in and where he ends up was really well done as far as the family aspect. I thought that I liked that. I liked his his story, whether tragic or not, about his mother was well done, and it, it was a kind of almost a tearjerker for me in one part. But still, that wasn't enough to save it for me. I just still think they they dropped the ball on a lot of it. A lot of those things made it really cool. Uh, but I did like the lunchroom scene at the very end. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I'd give it six, six out of ten. I just not a fan of it. I would not probably come back and watch it again. I don't even know if I'd buy it, but that's yeah. me. But I did like that the, I mean, as a kid, I love Shazam. I liked the way that the kid was kind of doing that. Just, I think it was just overkill. They did a lot of overkill. Like you said, it's too long. Could have been tightened up a lot and taken a lot of the, not all the humor out, but just kind of like not humor every second. I didn't need to have something to laugh about every second. Yeah, they definitely took the humor too far. And then some parts in the movie too, they kind of made it too cutesy. Yeah, too cutesy. That's what too I'm saying. Cutesy, you almost got, a, yeah. got a, like a cavity from yeah. so sweet. It's so sweet. Yeah. yeah I, just, I just got, I just got like, okay, this this guy that's like killing everybody. You know, it's a pretty good graphic scene in the boardroom. Yeah. I'm not gonna give it away, but that's pretty graphic, and and knew that the dad guy wasn't playing around. And then, then you got these other, which they, you know, they were young. They're supposed to be 14, 15. I understand. I understand. I'm taking it too to the extreme, I guess. But I just didn't like it, that part. And also, I have to say, the special effects in this movie, I don't know what the budget is, by the way. But the special effects did not look that great. I mean, they looked all right, best. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could tell that it was pretty decent, but it wasn't like anything to write home about like it you could tell it was kind of you could tell that the stuff in there was fake like you tell that like you know this is like not really happening or something like that or you could tell that this it was computer generated yeah, and that yeah. ain't good so yeah but i mean that's but i don't know the budget i mean it's good for what it is i guess for just a you know basic popcorn movie yeah kind of you know, thing. It's all right that way. And I guess little younger kids, guys would like it more than I did. I just didn't. I just think they dropped the ball. Uh, if you have an opportunity to see it at a matinee for like a discounted price, that's yeah. probably the best way to go see this movie right now. Don't pay the full eight bucks or the yeah. full price. Just see it at a matinee or something if you really want to see it that yeah. badly. Otherwise, just don't watch it. I guess after Aquaman, I had my, you know, my, what do you call it? Yeah. Expectations yeah. so high. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess it was hard to, you know, hard to get, get up against Aquaman, I guess. But, you know, check it out. See what you think. And, and tell us what you thought in the comments, whether you liked it and, uh, you know, what you gave it. And what did you did and what you did or didn't like about it. Or if you loved the whole thing. That's, that's why we're here, just to see what everybody gets. But we're going to uh, let this go. And we just want to thank everybody for watching. And anybody else got anything to say before we go? Well, if not, we just remember we got a PayPal account. And if you want to give a donation, we would greatly appreciate it here. And from J Dog, Drew Drop, and the Bad Raven here, we'd like to say thank you for watching. And remember, the Bad Raven is your friend. And we're going to let you go, and we'll talk at you later. And goodbye. Drew Drop out. Drew drop out.